Hello again for Switch TV. Larry here along with Steven. We just um, wrapped up a 3-2, no, yeah, 3-2 with um, Elementos. The third game didn't actually get all the way through because of time restrictions. But nonetheless, I was able to time out my opponent playing Jun Food, thankfully, so I got the win. Yep. Um, right now, we're going to switch gears um, over to a deck that Steven did pretty well with earlier today. Um, it also topped eight the Channel Fireball Pro event this weekend, yep. and this is Black White Yorion. Yeah, um, we made, I've, I've made a couple very small adjustments to the deck, but overall, it's pretty much the same thing. It's always been pretty much the same thing. There are a few preference cards that players have. Um... Right now, because Reclamation is less popular, the list is kind of adapted to be um, more Bell Haunts, um, stuff like that. A little less uh, discard focused with a few less Fen Lurkers. But overall, still pretty much the same idea. Um, I took the list from this weekend and uh, changed uh, one of the Grasp of Darknesses and two of the Heartless Axe to Glass Caskets. I think it's really silly to not play Glass Casket in this deck. Um, it's so good with Yorion, first of all. Uh, second of all, just like an exile removal spell is super important. It hits everything in the format right now. It's super important against Hydroid Crisis, and the fact that you can reset it after hitting Hydroid Crisis is a big deal. Um, I don't really like Heartless Act that much right now, um, so yeah, I, I put some caskets in. But overall, it's pretty much the same thing. Um, you've got your, your normal four Charming prints, so you can loop with Yorion. Um, the glass caskets we just talked about, four Agonizing Remores, four Burglar Rats, two Grass for Darkness, and two Yarex Fenlurker. Um, <clears throat> the, deck's pretty, the deck's game plan is to try and pretty much deplete your opponent's resources with cards like Fenlurker, Rat, and Agonizing Remorse early, and then Bell Haunt in the mid-game. Uh, and then you refill your own hand with Treacherous Blessing, uh, and then later you start looping that with Yorion and destroying a bunch of cards and gaining life with Belhaunt and Oaths and things. Yep. Um, really, it's kind of like a standard Jun deck. Yep. Uh, that's really kind of what this deck is trying to accomplish. So this deck did what we were trying to do with the Mardu build, except they're not going to add a third color and make their mana worse. Yeah. In addition, they're just going to be straightforward, uh, more consistent, I would imagine. Even though it's surprising to say that with it being Yorion and no term more consistent. Yeah. But overall it is because... They have cards, they're playing cards like Treacherous Blessing and um, Charming Prince. Yeah. They're able to manipulate the top of their library early in the game yep. with Charming Prince. Treacherous Blessing gets back in where we were literally depending on Chandra, which I think was very greedy of us. We wanted to try yeah. new cards. Yeah. That was all that was. This is an established deck, as you mentioned, did good in the PT. Yeah. It did well in the CFB event in week one. I'm looking forward to jamming this, so I think yeah. we should just go ahead and jump into some games. Yep, sounds good. Because this deck can be actually kind of grindy, so yep. we want to use as much time yep. in actual gameplay as we possibly can. Absolutely. Um, one thing, I think uh, the list I was playing earlier, I believe I cut one to rest for a fourth casket in my sideboard, but I can't remember 100%. It's been a few hours, and we've been playing other decks for the last, back, honestly, five or six hours. Uh, but, no, overall, um, it, it's a sweet deck. Um and yeah, it's it's gonna be fun to get some games in on on stream here. So, yep, this is exciting. I'm looking forward to playing some Magic the Gathering. Um, yeah. We've been doing this some um, pretty hardcore for the last three four days. Yeah, no, it's it's been fun though. Just doing it for fun, making videos. Yeah, no pressure. No pressure. Just kind of learning about decks and um, stuff. So we're probably gonna get registered for that Red Bull event after these this video because yeah. we haven't done that yet. When and, is that? Um, a couple weeks from now. Okay. Um. Yeah, actually, um, you might want to let Julia know about that event. Yeah, I probably should. Yeah, but, um, play first, obviously. Yep, we're keeping this. Yep. Sam looks great. We're going to turn one fetch. Yeah, I like I think. that. No reason that. Ooh, Mulligan the five, it looks like. Yeah. Probably getting a white source. We want our second white. Yep. That means we can cast Belhaunt on four, no matter what our other land is. If we draw a Belhaunt. I prefer not to um, let him know anything before yeah. he does his turn. Mono green again? Might be. Yep, looks like it. Is that like a normal thing with Mono Green to mold a five? I don't know. Yeah, we didn't do that a lot. No, we kept some slightly greedy hands, but I think when you're playing Mono Green, kind of you just have to do that sometimes. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, you know, moles happen. We're going to agonize her more, so we want to see what's going on. Yeah. Let's unpunish him for this mulligan. Yep, we can rat later. Yep. I like taking the Harpooner because it's a two drop. Um, Gem Grazer. He's going to have to either pitch it or pitch a land, which is awkward. Uh, I 
think that's what we're supposed to yeah. do. Yeah, I like that. And um, he puts a gem grazer on like I don't know the love struck beast. He yeah. can't put it on a one one. Yeah, so, so if he puts on the love struck beast. He would probably put it under. He would, and, and that would have still glass mask yeah, it. Yeah, exactly. Um, so I think we want to actually just be efficient here and just treacherous blessing. That's what I was thinking. Yeah. We could also, I suppose, put the Yorion into our hand, but I don't like that that no, much. That Let, let's do this. I like the treacherous blessing. Yep. We're just going to use our mana efficiently. Oh, that's oh, great. All of that all is excellent. Good cards. All of that's excellent. Doom I'm, Foretold's going to be insane against Doom the... Doom Foretold's really good because they can't It's going to force them to sack the Lovestruck Beast. Yeah. And then oh, we yeah. can sack off the Treacherous. Yeah, and that's actually really good. And then most likely they will... We'll see what they do with their turn, but... Yeah, they might just do nothing. A lot of times people don't want to keep playing into the Doom Foretold. Um, We've gotten plenty of value off the Treacherous, so this is good for us. We're going to yep. Edict to 5-5, five, five, then sack our Blessing. We don't need to loop that. Um, our no. opponent molded to 5, and we already 3 for 1. So, Oh, nice. So now they're going to go over. It's a little annoying. Um, but it's not that bad, because they're just going to get Edicted. Oh, no, because they're going to blow it up. Mm, yeah, that's pretty gross. That was, like, worst possible scenario for us. Um... um we can just, uh, we can't destroy it, which is an... We can mortify it. Oh, no, we can't. Yeah. yeah, that was so bad. That was literally the worst possible thing that could have happened. That's fine. Um, it's not... Let's look towards the... Yeah, no, for sure. Um, so, I guess, then... We could just let, have him get rid of that last card in hand, and then Charming Prince. And then we can see that our next two draws... Hmm... Yeah, that's that probably like the, the best. best. Play, yeah. yeah. Well, let's start here. Let's make our opponent hell bet the start. Yeah. All right. Do this. Scry two. Yep. Um. None of this is good enough. Yeah. We have to bottom all of it. We we really. We need a land actually because um Yori uh, getting a Yorion in the play would actually. Be good. We're gonna just take five here. Yeah, we have to just take five. Yeah, Yorion would be great. Um, we can just gain three off the Prince. Um, we can actually take everything and trade if we have Yeah, to. no, I would just play Prince, gain three. Yep. And honestly, I would casket the 1-1 one, one yeah, because later then, we can blink the casket yeah, and take something I else. I like that. Yeah, I like that a lot, actually. Yep. We just need to gain life here. Obviously. And honestly, getting all these creatures in yards means Kaya's going to have a ton of creatures to eat. We're fine with eating. Yep, triple block. We'll absolutely just gang block here. Yep. <clears throat> no it's question. not ideal, but it's what we're doing. Yep. <clears throat> just got to stabilize. It's a three board. for two, so it's not the worst. Yep. Sure. Come on, land. Untap land. That, that works. works. So we're just doing that. Yep. Killing his guy, gaining two life. <clears throat> and why is it two life, Steven? Because we lost one from yep. casting the blessing, or from having a blessing. Every yep. spell we cast, we take damage. Jeez, oh, Pete's. Uh, uh, Kaya. Kaya. Yep. Kaya, we're going to Now we're going to eat probably just... Well, green doesn't use its graveyard, so I think we just eat one creature at oh, a time, yeah. if, if possible. I agree. So forest. Oh, we can hit the forest, then. Creature. Yep. Yeah. And you do this to maximize the amount of creatures you can eat with Kaya, for those who don't know. Yep. Because we don't really care about ultimating anytime soon. Yep. That's nice, because we can just yep. exile Kaya that. can just eat that right up, which um, I think we will. Yeah. I would just eat it with Kaya. Um, there's no... We want to use Mortify for something else. We probably uh, Kaya would. doesn't have that many eats, so we want to do that. Um, um, I would not play another Blessing. Yeah, I would just... Um, no, no. We're yeah, just going to wait. We'll be fine. Yeah, we'll just We're going to leave up Mortify for uh, Questing Beast specifically. Um, is a card we don't want. And the thing is, uh, okay, that's fine. So what's going to happen here is uh, we'll probably just kill the Lovestruck Beast and then um, We could make it where the Lovestruck Beast never can hit. Lovestruck Beast can never attack us. As that's as fair. If we, just one eat, one. we just eat the token. I really don't feel like... All right, let's not blow the Mortify. That's, really that. that's a good call. That's a good call. All right, that's a great draw. So... I still like doing this. Well, hold... Uh, no, we don't want to do that now because we're going to blink Oath um, oh, you're right, you're on this right. Yorion. So, yeah, so I think you plus. And, and gain some 
<laughs> yep. This negates the damage we're about to take. Correct, yep. And we'll shock. We're going to well, Dorian. We're going to blink. Oh, yeah, it does. We're going to blink uh, everything except Kaya. Yep. Kaya's at four, so we don't want to make her loyalty lower for no reason. Um, yeah, yeah so... And then there's, um, this actually blocks Love Struck, not Love Struck, but well, Love Questing Beast. Gone. Questing Beast, yep, I mean. Yep, exactly. Yep, so Oath there, Glass Cast get the Love Struck. Yep, and they've had enough. Yeah, they know. <clears throat> um, yeah, I was uh, talking about Questing Beast, but yeah, that's... I like how we played that one, that was nice. Yep. I mean, it helped that they were on a mold of five, to be fair, but still. I uh, see these five. You see these good, Grasp, all four of the rats. Yep. Uh, Disfigure is probably good enough, honestly. Alright, um, so, uh, I, in matchups like this, uh, the discard effects, the two mana discard effects, I definitely trim on yeah. some number of them. Uh, Fenlurker's always the first, and in this matchup, Fenlurker's gonna be the first to go, because the hardest to cast. Yep. Um, <clears throat> so, that's the first thing we're gonna do. Um, six cuts total, so let's think about this for a second. We got a minute and a half. Yeah. Um, uh, I think going down to three blessing is fine. Yeah. Uh, I wouldn't go too much lower than that. You still do want, uh, yeah, you want the, the card advantage. Um, so in most ma other than mono red, in against mono red, I'll cut them all. But that's about the only matchup where I'll cut all of them. Um, and yeah, now we just kind of need to think. So Kaya. Kai is actually pretty is medium. Is pretty medium. Especially on the draw, I think that card table works. Yeah, I would cut her. Yeah. Two more cuts. Uh, Bell Haunt is fine, but it's a four drop, so I might trim one. And then I think I would trim a rat. Yeah, let's try that. I would try this, I think. Uh, Bell Haunt is obviously fine in the matchup, but being a four mana play, you don't have the time. To, like we can't keep a hand with like three Bell Haunts, four lands. Like this is not keepable. Now this hand is great. Yep. Uh, so we'll lead on Castle Lock Twain. Yep. Um, but yeah, a solid hand for sure. <sighs> sure thing. And we're fine with the one one living. For now. Yeah. Yep. Most likely, well, the glass guy's going to probably be reserved for the, um, Love Shark Beast. Yeah. You um, know, I might actually hit, I would hit the ooze with Casket, uh, for sure. Uh, because, well, maybe not, let's see. Let's, we could just scry too. I was thinking scry too might be Yeah, let's bad. scry too. Let's, let's try and find Kaya's Wrath. That's the card we're going to want in this matchup. I don't want either of those yeah. at all. Yeah, we're we already four. doing fine with lands. We would really like a, another card we can play. Yeah. Uh, if he offers the ooze, we'll trade. Without hesitation. Yeah. All right. Um. So I like casting the um love shark beast. I agree. Uh, and then we'll play triumph. Yeah. Make sure we got our mana. Yep, we want to go Doom Foretold into ECD. Yep. It's good that we're keeping stuff out of both graveyards so Ooze isn't getting out of hand. Yep. Sure. Yeah. Kaya's Wrath off the top. Ooh, key. That's annoying. Uh, it's not that bad. Uh, Doom Foretold is going to make him sack. Oh. Well, that's still fine. He's still going to lose Love Struck Beast. Uh, just no blocks. Yep, yeah, no blocks. Because we want Doom Foretold to get two things. Yep. Now this is totally okay, because now Doom Foretold either gets a 5-5 five, five, or a 2 for 1. Yep. Um, Alright. So we're going to Doom Foretold. Yep. No attacks. It's going to definitely get one of those. Yep. Which is probably going to be... It's going to be a love struck. Yeah. I, I think giving up Gem Grazer is absurd, because then he's basically giving up it two cards. It has Trample, which is so good. Yeah, right it now. also can eat the things, because it's an ooze. Uh, mm -hmm. But we're about to ECB it next turn, so that's yeah. going to be good. No blocks. We want to be able to sack Prince to the Doom Foretold so we get one more Edict out of it. I agree with you. <clears throat> then on the following turn, we'll probably sack the Doom Foretold to itself. I assume he's going to... Sure. Yeah. Let's probably uh, place two creatures into this. Really annoying. We'd love to draw Kaya's Wrath. That's what we're looking for. So we'll sack Prince... 
Yeah, probably just ECD. ECD, yep, definitely ECDing. Then he's going to probably sack off the ooze, I assume. Would make <laughs> sense. Looks like he's going to be Stone Coil. Makes sense, he's just going to eat the creatures that yep. have been sacked for most well, good of the thing. game. We can easily just, um, if we really, which we probably will, honestly, since there's only a Charming Prince, which we probably won't be there much longer. Yeah, we're going to sack the ECD yeah. to get another Edict. Yep. Um, honestly, yeah, we can double, set up a Double Doom for Told um, and get the Ooze and the Love Struck off. So if we don't go to two life here, we're going to be in an okay position. We really still need to kind of just draw something that is good. Yeah, because we're going to four. Yeah. So those two one ones are going to be a bit of an issue, but. Kaiser would obviously be the best draw right Yeah, now. yeah, that's what we want to hit. We'll sack the ECD. Alright. Um. I think I just like the double doom for Tori. Yeah, that's what we have to do. So play a tap land. Yeah, and then just do this. Yeah. <clears throat> We're in some trouble still, but... A little bit. We do have White Castle, so if our opponent bricks for a couple turns, we're fine. Um, also, obviously, have the Orion. So, but it sucks these doom for tolds aren't going to convert. Yeah, but they've done a lot. They have kept us alive. Um, so. I think we just jam a Yorion. Yeah. I think it's better than making a 1-1 one -one for sure. I agree. It's, it's bigger, harder for them to kill right now. Yep. We'd made a 1-1 one -one and ram through it a bit and out. I think they could have done with. Um, that's fine. Alright, we'll block one. I don't know. How many creatures are there for that thing to eat? None in our yard. Two in his. So Yorion has that locked. So Temple. Temple will make a 1-1. One yep. One. yep. So we're clinging to life here. That's not actually very good. I think we need to bottom that. We really need to find Bellhaunt or Oath. We need um, like some ways to gain life. And we're just shipping it. Yep. Yep. Uh, need yeah. to dodge Questing Beast this turn, Vivian this turn. Um, if we dodge those two cards, I think we're in okay position. Yep. Yeah. Um, yeah, so we just really need to dodge those two spells. <laughs> We've drawn pretty, pretty badly this game, honestly, so... <clears throat> Okay, yeah, none of that matters at all. No. Uh, but they don't know that, I suppose. Okay, looks like they bricked. Uh, we will make a 1-1. One -one. I don't think they saw that we could do this. Unless they drew ran through. No, they didn't. Yeah, I think this is just a mistake. Just a a rough mistake. Yeah, no, that was not correct at all. Because now, <clears throat> now Questing Beast doesn't kill us. Just pass. We have yeah. to sit so Questing Beast doesn't kill us. Can't we just put the Yorian in our hand, though? Yeah, you should do that. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, so there's no reason not to. Yep. No, we're definitely not swinging. Yep. That's not even close to an out. Yep. Or not an out, but an option. Yep. All right, whatever. That's fine. Yeah. yeah. Vivian... Vivian is what we need to dodge. Yeah, we're going to make a 1-1, one, one, obviously. Yeah. The 1-1s one, are going to keep chumping if he doesn't hit Vivian. All right, that's a new card. Yes. So we're going to just cycle that bad boy. We'll start that now. Yep. Oh, boy. Uh, pass. So I want to pass because this way we can double block the Love Struck Beast if we want. 
Uh, so make another 1-1. One, one. Yeah, I think we do that. I think we trade with a 1-1 one, one and double block the beast. Yep, I agree. Just get these things off the table. We have another Yorion, so this one's not particularly important. <clears throat> there we go. There uh, we go. Huge draw there. Huge I like draw and there. And blinking Bellhorn. Oh, absolutely. And now our Black Castle is a, a real card. Yeah, no, this this was that was pretty much perfect. Oath of Kaya would have been honestly worse. Like this is as good as it gets, just because it gives uh, we can attack. It's yeah. a very free attack. Oh uh, yeah, no. And now from here, our opponent's in big trouble. Um, even if they draw a Vivian now, it's just going to get killed. Thankfully, by the they blinked on draw subs, and they yeah. made some weird attacks in my opinion. Yeah. But yeah, the Ooze, the Ooze attack that, was really bad. That would have been such a good draw for them. Oh, that's insane. Uh, we're gonna kill this Garrick. Uh, so send, yeah, uh, there the attack would have been Yorion and Garrick Bell haunt at him, and then we would uh, champion out, or uh, play the two drop, and then blink out the Yorion, and then blink the board. And look at that. Yep, on to Mythic. On to Mythic, guys. Oh, but yeah, no, that, that kind of game is exactly what I'm saying about how it's pretty much just like standard Jund, like it becomes like a top deck war. Yeah. But the decks just got so many really powerful engines that it, it wins the top deck wars a lot of the time. Yep. Um, yep, no, 100% agree. All right, we're probably going to be like the 70% rankings, so. Yeah, we'll see. We ain't getting the top 1,200 or 1,300 or whatever it is. Probably not. I mean, if we go on a nice win streak, we might. You might. That's true. Um, it really, I, I, I'm interested to see what we are, because it's supposed to keep track of your record. 92%. Yeah, so. That's about, if you got on a five or six win, uh, we'll play first. I'm willing to risk this. Okay. One land is a blessing. Um, it's close. This hand is close. Uh, but I'm I'm willing oh, to do it one? because the power of the hand is so high. Remores and a blessing with all these really Mulligan good... two? All right. Mono green again. <laughs> Maybe. Um, so far, when they've been willy nilly mulligan, it's been mono green both yeah, times. Yeah, so. that's pretty wild. Or the Jeskai mutate deck we played against. That yesterday. deck was something else, that was man. crazy, man. <clears throat> I don't even know if it was good. Like this. I don't think it was, but we drew pretty ransom. Okay. Right? Maybe it's sack. All right, and yeah, so and this is why we kept this hand. Like, this is fine. Like, we're going to find white mana almost a hundred percent. We're gonna look at. The, we're gonna see the top five. Uh, let's take the oven. The devil's yeah, going to be a lot we, we easier can, to beat. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, we have Oath and Casket to beat it in our hand already. How are they got a card we don't, we don't get to see? That's the... I don't know. It's a land. We know it's a land. I forget which land it was. I'm just confused. It was a land. Yeah, I'm just confused. It was confused. not that, that's for sure. Yeah, so I'm we just confused. It. Well, all right, so Treacherous Blessing it is. So that's a confusing situation right yeah, now. Yeah, no, really weird. I don't know. All right, there's our white source. We also ripped a burglar rat, which will do something. So that's good. Yep. Yep. Double time. Um, yeah, I like, we can go temple and just play burglar rat. Yeah, temple always enters tap, so it's better to do that. Nope. One will do fine. And if we get the opportunity, we will just block. Um, yeah. His hand is low enough now where we don't need to keep this. He can kill it off so easily. He might just pop the food. Yeah, I think what he's probably going to do is... Well, now he can't use the... I, this was not correct. He should have used his trail. This was, was poor use of uh, yeah, his just, resources. And he... Yeah, no, that was just awful. That was like as uh, bad as it could be. Yeah. Uh, okay, so we're going to oath down the Mayhem Devil. Yep. Then I like getting in the white castle. Oh, yeah, right? absolutely. Yep, we want to get our white sources in. Then we'll pro Next pro turn's probably going to be Kaya put Yorion in our hand and eat the goose. Yep. <clears throat> it's the thing that can just keep them going. Yeah, yeah, we need to get rid of food. Um, That was not correct either. You should have just used mana there. Our opponent really spewed off value this game which is really nice um all right so we're gonna play kaya we're gonna eat the goose and then we're gonna 
uh, play Swamp in order to put Yori on our hand, so next turn we can reset Kaya, draw three cards, and blink Oath. Um, we've got our opponent down to pretty much nothing, and next turn we're going to have, you know, everything, basically. Yeah. Um, yeah, this deck feels really strong. It's very good. It's a very good deck. Um, after playing, the more you play it, the better you get with it, too. Um, all right, so, right, so we're going to use Kaya. Yep. Use Kaya. To eat Devil in a Land. This deck, you do want to eat two every time because they play Woe Striders, so you just don't want them to have anything yep. in your yard. All right. And yeah, it's time to Orion. Yep. Uh, we get to kill Devil. We get to draw three cards. We get to. Uh, we don't. Yeah, right, they, they, they get it. <clears throat> yeah, they. Yeah, we were about to have eight cards to their zero. Yep. And All their right. board. Intervention's great. Intervention. Um, probably Kaya's Wrath. I'm into it. I'd bring them all, yeah, I'd bring them all in here. Because um, sometimes people like bringing in Rotting Regisaurs. That's true. Uh, I like ECD. It hits Woe Strider and uh, Devil. True. Oh, and, and this is Jun version, so yeah. I probably have Core Votes. Yeah, Noxious Grass should come in our deck as well. Yep. And that's probably it there. Eight cuts. Um, Doom Foretold's kind of a joke, I think, in this match. Yeah, let's call the Doom Foretold, or at least most. Yeah, I don't like that um, card at all. I think we cut uh, two rats and two fen lurkers. Not a big fan of that stuff here. Honestly, fen lurker is better than rat. Um, yeah. The reason is because they have to act, uh, having them discard a card out of their hand is worse than having them exile a right. card. So let's let's cut the rats and keep the yeah. fen lurkers then. I don't think the man uh, the mana cost is enough to like. Yeah. You can help their strategy out so much yeah. if you just. Let I can buy card. that. So yeah, let's let's try this. Yeah. Um. Yeah, no, I like this. Doom foretold can be good in these matchups, but a lot of times it just lines up really poorly. So. Mm -hmm. I just hate when it's a, just a dead card. Yeah. I'd rather be Sun Notes. So this is a strange hand, but I think we might keep it. Uh, we can fetch Swamp on one and then play Castle into Remora's Blessing again. Yeah, that's um, right. All right, they're tilting and leaving, which is unfortunate. Yeah. Because uh, that would have been an interesting hand to play out. But I, I think that was a keep, and you just have to accept you're not going to have white mana for a little bit. Yep, I agree. Um, right. Which is a weird thing that does come up sometimes in this deck. Sometimes you do keep hands without white mana, because they go remorse into blessing. Yep. Um, it's unfortunate we're too old, but the second one was just very, yeah, very weak. Yeah, very weak game. Maybe because of that, we'll end up getting a sixth game in. Maybe, yeah. No, these have gone pretty fast so yeah. far. I, I'd um, like to get more games because that game just leaves a bad taste in my mouth. It's not really good testing, you know. No, no, and it's not I good for people play to first. watch. Uh, yeah, it's fine. We have a scry land. Yep. Um, the triom we. I guess we have Black Castle, so playing Triome isn't that bad. It yeah. turns on the... I think we're keeping, though. We are keeping. I think we're going to lead on Temple, regardless. Oh, I think so as well. Um, yep, absolutely want that. Um, and next turn, we're honestly probably just going to Triome. I think so. That way all our lands will enter yeah. properly. <laughs> I like that a lot. Simic Flash, maybe? Nope. Elementals. Well, that's getting Glass Casket. Oh, casted. that's not true. It could just be straight up Blue Green Ram. It could so. be. We're in a Glass Casket and play a land regardless. Yep. Uh, and then, this is nice because usually print, Prince's best function in a lot of games is just re-flickering these discard effects. And re-flickering Felhaunt is as good as it gets. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yep, Elementals. Yep. Um, we can re-Glass Casket that later. Okay, so this is interesting. Um, <clears throat> I think it's Bill Haunt. Because um, then it opens up next turn where we can play Bugler Ray and then Blink the Bell Haunt, and then Yorion can come down the turn after. Yeah, what we're probably going to do next, next turn, turn, next turn we're going to play two drop, put Yorion in our hand. Yeah. So yeah, Bell Haunt is correct. Um, yeah, good call. It's nice he missed the land, at least. Uh, when Risen Reef doesn't hit lands, it's a lot less messed up. Yes. Um, when it isn't ramping, oh, no. just a three mana one one draw. Oh, it's still it's still good. Um, but I would much rather them put a card in their hand than put a land into play. I agree. 
um, in, in yeah, almost so every scenario. We've not all the time. Decks plenty of times yeah. to understand that. Yeah, yeah. Um, to be fair, hear me out, they could straight up still be Simic. Yeah, and oh, they yeah, could. They're not Teamer by any means. Yep. It's a, it's a great ramp card, even on its own. Yeah. Oh, clearly they have a tough decision, which is nice. Yeah, so next turn, what we're going to do is uh, we're, we're going to play Rat, put Yori on in our oh, turn. Yeah, it's definitely um, just ramp. Straight up ramp. Yeah. Interesting card. Yeah. Okay. So what we're going to do now... Oh, that changes things. So we're going to go Rat, make you discard, and then Oath the Risen Reef now, I think. Yep, I think so as well. want to get that off the board. Just another target that we could blink. Yep. I like these kind of decks that we're playing is because I'm... Um, Best some um, card they have in their sideboard um, for our stra uh, strategy like this is like Mystical Dispute, and that yeah. card is just not great against And them. I actually just noticed something. This may have been a mistake for everyone watching. It was actually probably better this turn to play Prince and blink out Bell Haunt than to play Burglar Rat. Yeah. And these are the kind of things I'm talking about where this deck requires a lot of uh, playing and testing to get everything right. Because, uh, you know, on the surface, Burglar Rat... Uh, felt good there, but it was actually worse than just blinking out Bell Haunt because then we would have gained three more life. So we'd be up more life. Um, okay, I did not expect that at all, um, but we weren't getting around it anyway. Uh, Might as well attack. Yeah. If he wants to swing into Rat, we'll trade. Yeah. So it's a free three damage for the most part. I guess it's not free. He could play Nissa and Plaza. Maybe it's wrong to swing there. Um, debatable. Yeah. We'll see. Ooh. This deck is interesting. He's playing C Dash or Octopus as well. Oh wow! Yeah, that's one of the cards he discarded. Huh. I really don't understand what we're playing against. No, yeah, honest. me like, either. I'm out. I'm out. Yeah, like. intriguing. Okay. Um, it's actually cool. We could help at him, and then this um Vivian Neg doesn't do anything. Huh. So, yeah, that's, that's interesting. Um, I think, honestly, it's still better to just put the Yorion in our hands so we're guaranteed to Yorion him next turn. So let's, we're still going to do the Prince thing and blink out the Bell Haunt, but I really think it's important that we just start chaining. So, uh, because we can reset this glass casket over and over and keep killing all his tokens he makes. Yeah. Uh, we can put casket on a token, and then on following turns, we can either re-put it on a new token, or we can put it on the Risen Reef. Um, he can have the Leafkin back uh, if we take the Reef for sure. So this just sets us up for more more power. Um, I don't think we're super... The minus from Vivian isn't going to be that absurd. And honestly, he probably wouldn't minus anyway because he's probably worried about Othakaya. Uh, I would be worried about Othakaya for sure if I were him. Yep, and that's fine. Um, not a big deal at all. No, we're uh, that's, good Yeah, going. and we're going we're gonna to be gaining at least three every single turn. Um, so, yeah, no blocks. Um, and he's about to lose all his resources. Um, I don't know. This one card could be Dispute. Could be. Um, which would be annoying as can fun. be. Yeah, let's just jam it. Yeah, we're not playing around it. Um, do we want the Charming Prince in the play for any reason first? Oh, uh, yeah, we do, because then we can blink it. Yeah, uh, probably Black Source. Yeah, yep. I like a Black Source. I think it wants to stry. I think so as We'd well. We'd like to find an ECD. Neither of those are it. All right, and we're just going to literally blink everything in play. Um, what's funny is, if he gets a card off Risen Reef, he's going to discard them both. Yep. So now, um, we probably just hit the Reef with yeah. the Glass Casket, make sure that he doesn't spiral out of control. Um, don't want anything crazy yep. going on. Uh, so, with the Charming Prince. We're going to exile the Orion with yep. one of them. And we're going to scry two with yeah, the other one. Yeah, I was leaning toward. Yeah. We go, I know we're blinking uh, Yorion. That's no problem. <clears throat> yep. Um, Grasp of Darkness isn't the worst. Yeah, it kills um, Questing Beast, which is actually... That has legs. Yeah, and we have a Black Castle, so we do have card advantage right now. And mm -hmm. what we're doing is basically card advantage yeah. anyway. 
making your opponent discard, gaining three, scrying two. Um, and then we, well, what is he given these? Reach, yeah, okay. yeah, which makes sense. Yeah, smart. Um, yep. Killing Question Beast would be nice, though. Yep, just getting that off the board. What does Vivian's ultimate do? I don't even... I mean, it's not an ultimate, it's just a Neg Tuesday. I see. Okay, so it doesn't have an ultimate. No blocks. Because we're going to keep gaining three, so he's only like... like I doing... forgot that it basically has a static, because you get to play creatures off the top. Uh, yep, we're just going to blink all our creatures this time. Glass Casket's going to stay put. Don't want to give him Risen Reef triggers for no reason. Nope. So we're just gonna blink go all of the boom, creatures. Boom, boom, yep. boom. I like just grasping the questing. And then activating Black Castle yeah. in case we had a land. We'd like to just play it now to get it out of our hand. Yeah, I agree. White Castle's not doing a whole lot, so. <clears throat> okay, perfect. Eventually we'll find like cards like ECD and so forth. Yep. Swing and be poor. ECD, so. even Oath of Kaya, because we're looping, so we can just machine gun his yeah. all his reachers yeah. down and things. Yeah. Yep, so that one does that, and the other one scries too. <clears throat> He'll yep. pitch his card. Yeah, we keep gaining three. Gaining three, three yep. Uh, that's a strange play, honestly. Uh, he gets to see the top card of his library at all times. Oh, so. that's fair. Uh Kaya is unfortunately not good enough, I don't think. I actually don't hate a second Black Castle. It gives us two activations a turn. Um, but that still might not be... Uh, yeah, I we'll bottom. We better. We'll bottom. Um, it was interesting, though. Yeah, I think we're really just looking for Treacherous, Blessing, and... Yeah, ECD. things like that. Yeah, because once we hit Blessing, we're drawing three card, four cards every single turn with a Scry 2. So we're basically seeing the top six cards of our deck every single turn. Um, fortunately, our opponent's drawing pretty badly. The top of their deck's not being kind to them, which is good for us. Um, Honestly, Doom Patrol would be kind of funny, too. Because oh, yeah, Doom Patrol's just... disgusting because yeah. he only has two non token permanents in play. Yeah. And here we go. Just keeping the chain going. <clears throat> and there we go. Yeah. Do we want to tap? All that's fine. Play? I think that's fine. Okay. And we'll draw three. Uh, okay. I like jamming this. Absolutely. Well, we could jam both. Yep. And I think, uh, yeah, we'll just scry again. Yep. Uh, and now this is added to the chain, so we're getting even more manipulation every single turn. Uh, another Doom Foretold seems fine. Yeah, it's awesome. It's just going to pressure that thing off the board. Get all this back, gain three more. Uh, let's we'll make just, sure we exile the Orion yeah. with the first one and then Scry with the other one. Yep. Rat can go to the bottom. Yeah. Don't need any more of that. Yep. He's going to sack the Druid, obviously. Yep. But then we get to blink the Doom for Toll before we even, like, goes on our turn. Which, yep, exactly. Which is so, so it's a one-sided Doom for Toll. I actually have not had this loop yet. I have not had the Doom for Toll loop. Yeah, where it's oh, this is actually kind of messed That's up. That's hilarious. Yeah, no, I've, I've never had this come up yet. I'd be so frustrated mm -hmm. on the other side of the street. Yeah, you can't do anything. You yeah. can't attack us. Um, but this ever... maybe actually could potentially get him out because if he can link a couple creatures off the top. Yeah, it could. Yeah, it would at least give him things to sack. Yeah. The I problem can... is we're drawing so many cards now that he's just getting. Totally if he doesn't play a permit, here, then the Doom for Toad just gets his value. Yeah. Yep. The Doom Foretold will indeed kill the Vivian. <laughs> this, is so, this guy funny, not gonna lie. We're gonna eat one of them with Bell Haunt. Um, we, yeah, we'll just take nine. Yeah. We can gain life instead of scrying off the triple charming prince yeah, we want. We so we can basically gain 12 a turn. Um, we'll blink all the princes. Yeah, we'll just blink everything. Yeah, no reason uh, not to. Blink all this. Yeah, this is crazy. <clears throat> insanely powerful. Yep, they've had enough. DC's... They've had enough. They understand what's happening. All right. We're going to bring in all the Kaya's Wraths. Um, Noxious Grasp, ECD number four. Um, 
I don't like the rest of the stuff. Disfigure's like debatable. It kills Risen Reef. Um, but it's still probably worse than other things that are going on. Yeah, I think um, it's worse than glass gaskets and stuff like that. I would assume they're a Euro deck, so we probably want to keep Kaya. Um, <clears throat> I think I would trim some Bell Haunts. I'd probably go down two Bell Haunts. Um, and then I would probably cut uh, Burglar Rats. Um, actually, bring two rats in and cut the grasp of darkness. Uh, no, no we grasp kills. It's, so. a, it's a good removal. Yeah, no. yeah, no, just cut all the rats. Try that. Yeah, I'm not sure on Kaya. If, if they're not it's a Euro a, deck, it's not we're, good. We're ahead. Yeah. Let's see what a little more of their deck on yep. this game. Yeah. I, I want to assume they are. I want to assume they are, too. It seems absolutely ludicrous to play a blue-green deck with no Euros in it, mm -hmm. so. Yeah, no, I mean, these last few games, you're seeing the power of the stack. I mean, these loops are just ridiculous. Yeah. It's unbelievable value. Um, earlier today, I was able to outpace Triple Oven Cat and a Midnight Reaper two or three turns in a row. Because I had the loop with a blessing. Yeah, that's So they, we were both just drawing four or five cards a turn. Uh, but I was gaining a little too much life for them with, like, double bell haunt and an oath. So I'm gaining nine life a turn. I just kept hitting their face instead of their creatures with oath. So they couldn't um, sack the oven. Yeah, we're definitely yeah, keeping this. Right. Definitely keeping this. Nice hand. All right, we're going to play our scry land here. Yep, we're going to keep oh, this. Yeah, That's it, perfect. It's honestly perfect. No, this deck's super fun to play. Oh, it's very powerful. I, I can I, imagine that you consider this for a Oh, yeah, no, far. this is actually probably my front runner. This is very much my kind of nonsense. Um, Flicker Wisp is one of my favorite cards ever, and Yorion is just a much better Flicker Wisp. Yeah. Um, and, yeah, I mean, it's just broken, man. It's just ridiculous how powerful it is. It's so insane. Uh, so, yeah, the we Harbinger Harbinger seems really annoying, so we're yeah. going to take that. You can have some big It's going to be hard to beat that. We have yeah. ECD, but I prefer not to have it. Yeah, we don't have it anytime soon, so. Because we can knock this grass to Hydra. I'm yeah. not really too worried about yeah, yeah. the Hydra right now. I agree. It could be a 4-4 four -four this turn. 4-5, I should say. So let's play a Scryland, I think. Did we just get rid of it? I'm going to bottom this. Um, not yet. We need to kill the bigger one, right? Like, this is going to be the smaller one of the two. The next one's going to be a, a six, seven. Did he have another one? I thought he did. Why does it keep not showing us the cards? I don't understand I don't that. Because he did have two, I'm, like, certain. Is that a mythic thing? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know, dude. I've never, I've never run into this before. But, no, we're not going to kill it. He does have another one. I'm, like, 100% sure. Um, and if he doesn't, we'll just do it on the end step. I'm almost certain he had another one, though. Yeah, I'm just not sure. Ooh. Oh, uh, we can easy do it. In two turns, I think yeah. we gotta kill it. Yeah, no, we do. We do, though. for sure. Um, it's unfortunate that that's gonna get a trigger on us, so. Yeah, I know. Unless we draw a glass casket. Um. It's probably... That's honestly not worth playing. So, the question no, is, is, do we put Yorion in our hand, or do we Blessing? Um, I think we might Blessing. I think Blessing. We could hit gonna... Kaya's Wrath. Because we could just play Triumph Exactly, blessing. yeah. And and then we don't have to discard any cards either. Yep. Um, it's a little taxing on our life total, but it seems really good. And yeah, thank God we did it, yeah. because these are very bad draws. Um, you know, this is, uh, you know, not the best spot in the world, but, you know, if we find a Kaya's Wrath, we'll be fine. Um, glass casket, and this is what I'm talking about. Like glass casket is just so good. Like it's so silly to me to not. Oh, yeah, no, this game is probably we have to hit Kaya's wrath. We really don't have any other chance other than ripping a wrath. This is too much pressure now. Um, pretty unlucky, honestly. Our opponent's hand was not very good, and they've top decked incredibly well, and we have not drawn very well. The Blessing, drawing two lands remores, was not impressive. Um, yeah, it's... 
yeah, we're just dead. We're just dead. Yeah. On to the next game. <clears throat> I'm really not a big fan of Kai in the matchup. Kai is bad. We should yeah. cut it for more yeah. rats. Rats at least chump block that stupid thing. Yeah. Um, chump block what? The the hex proof from black guy. Oh, he's yeah. not pro black. Yeah. He's hex proof from black. Um, so we could bring in those. Um, I think those. Maybe. Yeah, I just like how they curve better than Bell Haunt. Uh, Bell Haunt's fine, but yeah, let's do this. Bell Haunt is better, obviously, but you want to curve with this deck, so I think just being able to yeah. put Rats into play, make him discard some cards, chump that 4 3 so we can get the ECDs and things. So you think this is at the front runner for you right now? Yeah, no, it's really good. It's very much my kind of deck. Um, I enjoy this. This is not a keepable yeah. hand. Unfortunate. That is also not a keepable hand. Mm. Jeez, oh jeez. That's not keepable either. Yeah. We, we can't do it. Okay. All right, we have a blessing. So we're going to keep two lands, blessing and rat, I believe. Um, maybe it's better to keep a more impactful card than rat. Maybe we're supposed to keep oath. Yeah, let's actually... Let's keep oath. I think oath is... Technical. Oath is better. We can't cast gonna... Grasp yet. Yeah, we're going to need to get a lot of value off our cards on the Mold of Four. Honestly, if we hit the Blessing on Curve, that almost entirely erases the Mulligan. So, um, we still definitely have a shot here. Grazer? They might have a Grazer. I don't know what else they'd be thinking about. Ooh. All right, come on, baby. Land. Untap land specifically. Come but on. Land, please. Land, please. Now, I mean, this this was ridiculous. Game two, we got really unlucky. This game, like the mold of four, I guess that's fine. It's, it's not good, but it's fine. We'll take it. <laughs> ridiculous. But I guess I'm happy we didn't uh, play the blessing into the negate. So there's that. Um, but yeah, no, I mean, this is just nonsense. Um, the way... <clears throat> these last couple games went, which was unfortunate. Uh, the first few rounds, though, you saw what happens when the deck functions. Uh, <clears throat> so, and in game one here, too. Like, when the deck functions, it's very, very powerful. So they have another counter spell. Let's just put Yorion in our hand. Yeah. It's a very obvious I have a counter spell. So yeah. we're going to just not let them... We're going to make them not play this 5-5. Five five for... That's so stupid. Yeah, they've just... This is like a perfect draw from our opponents, unfortunately. Really frustrating. Hopefully they miss a land at least, so they can't play the Beast and Negate. Yep, so... I think we honestly play the Doom Foretold. Card doesn't so. matter very much, and they probably will counter it because it represents a 3-for-1, 4-for-1, basically. Yep, makes sense. Not the card we cared about. If they keep missing lands, it's a good spot for us, honestly. Okay. Annoying, but beatable. Uh, so we just probably got... I would not play the land yet. I would Blessing first. True. You might hit a tap land that you want to play instead. Okay, we're going to Agonize and Remorse them. <clears throat> so, we can definitely not beat Nyssa with this hand, so I would take Nyssa. We can play through the dispute pretty easily. Not easily, but... Yeah, say so we're going to have a lot of pressure from the Ceratops for a while. Yeah. Hopefully we draw a Noxious Grasp. Or a Grasp of Darkness. Um, those would be incredibly good. Not that the one. Resolve. Not the one. Um, so it keeps playing it down. It's so funny. So what are we supposed to do? Alright. We go Charming Prince Ulthakaya. It's probably the best play. Prince game 3. Uh, <laughs> let's play... 
the oath first, but I would play your land. We should have played the land oh, so he yeah. couldn't dispute it. I think this one mattered more than Prince, is why. Um, That's fair. No, but if he if he disputes these cards and we rip a Kaya's Wrath, we're still like in this game. All right, so that's cool. He didn't counter it, um, and now yeah, we're gonna play Prince and try and gain three off it. Our opponent, if they're smart, will not counter. Um, they're just yeah, gonna keep playing patient. Counter. It'd be a bad counter. It would just be bad. There's not much else to say about it. Uh, yeah, we're gonna gain three life, and we just have to pray that we can draw one of our you know three two mana removal spells for this card. Um, yep. So for them, I can play. You can play the five drop and then um, because yeah. he's holding them to dispute for the Yori on most likely. Well, honestly, if he does that, that's fine because then we get resolve ECD. That's true. The ECD is awesome. So if he plays Lovestruck, or I'm sorry, if he plays uh the Vivian or whatever, that's super good for us. Oh, uh, it, it looks like he's just gonna play the Lovestruck. That, that would be the that would be the intelligent. Thing that doesn't do anything. No, me. yeah, no, it doesn't, which is obviously a big deal. Yeah, no blocks. Yep, no blocks. Yep, smart play. They would just do nothing and make a token with our white castle. All right. It's probably our best line. Um, we just need to ho we need to hope that he does not play aggressively because of the dispute that is in his hand that we can't see anymore for some reason. Again, um, I don't understand what's going on with that. That's yeah. happened multiple times now. We know it's there. Yeah. He has a dispute, and for some reason the game isn't showing it to us. Maybe that's like a bug. That must be a bug, because that isn't right. So we're going to make a 1-1. One, one. I suppose we chump with the 1-1 one, one and force him to get a trample. We just, we're at a point where we need to draw it. It's not just Grasp, Grasp of Darkness, or Bust. And honestly, Grasp of Darkness probably isn't good enough, because it doesn't gain us the life back. Um... Yeah, we just need to rip it now. Unfortunate. It's the wrong one. Yeah, I think we're just dead. Yep. But just to entertain everyone, let's just show how he does that mystical dispute. Yeah. Yeah, I don't understand. I don't understand why. either. Because we know it's there. We saw it. Like, weird. Why don't we see it anymore? Yeah, that's weird. It's stupid. All right, two um, one. Yeah, and that was ridiculous. We mulled to four, and we, like, put up a pretty good fight. He had three counter spells that game or whatever, so... Yeah. Yeah, just nonsense. It's not even usually good against us, but we are on a mulligan, so it turned out to be... Yeah, no, bad. we could have easily played circles around it had we had seven instead of four cards. Yeah, um, that's just how magic goes sometimes. Yeah, no, because we just would have had two more lands and could have just resolved ECD through it. Like, yeah. Oh, yeah, though, I 100% agree with you. But, yeah, no, that... You know, that is how it goes sometimes. We're going to keep this absolutely, yep. I think. It's a little slow. That's a great draw. Great, great draw. Gives us just a play on turn two. This is exactly what we wanted. Just something to do. He's yep. playing the blue-red spells deck. Mortify is awesome against that one. So is this. Uh, let's Agonizing Remorse. Yeah, that's what I like. Let's see what's happening. Let's try to kit and take some threats out of his hand. Um... Exiling Granting Inventory is cool. I like Opt. Opt is the controlled draw. Um, Opt is definitely the best draw spell of them, in my opinion. Um, him just casting a... Why don't we see Crash Through? What is going on? I don't know, man. That's wrong. Like, come on. Yeah. Ooh, another riddle form. Okay. See if he even casts the crash through yet. Oh, he doesn't. Yeah, he doesn't have to. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so let's think here. We can play this for sure. Yeah, let's just, um, honestly, let's just mortify one of these right now. That way it doesn't get countered. No nonsense. Just get these stupid things off the table. 
Um, next turn we get to resolve the Doom Foretold to get the other one off the board. Yep. It's frantic inventorying, which is yeah. fine. We'll be at 11 at the end of our next turn, most likely. Oh, God. Okay, so with him doing nothing, now I kind of don't want to play the Doom Foretold yet. What are we supposed to play here? I think we bait the counter. Like, we can bait the counter. Rat, Rat probably baits it. Rat also gives us good food to um, the Doom Foretold. So I like this. This will very likely... Po okay. And that's fine. We're just getting things out of his hand. Getting resources away from our opponent. And then we're going to play Triome. Okay. What does this do normally? Alright. Triome. What does that do? I'm just game double, double strike. Alright. Tap Triome. That was weird. That was, yeah, a little odd, yeah. Well, we know you have Crash Through. Like, you're not fooling anyone. Yep. Wow. What a surprise. Um, okay. Well... We're taking a good amount of damage here, but Doom Foretold is going to be great. Uh, Doom Foretold. Tap Godless Shrine. <sighs> uh, you might as well. Right? Might as well attack because all their threats are flyers anyway. Yeah. Upkeep, they're going to lose one of their threats here. Next upkeep, they're going to lose another threat. Um, or I play we have Kaya an, here and then and gain, some, gain life. some life. Yeah, we can sack the rat and then eat our own rat because I don't know how many creatures they even have. They're going to probably, yep, sack the riddle form. Makes sense. Yeah, we can play Kai and Rat in this turn. Oh. Oh, that's That's tough. a really good play from them. Yep. That was. It's annoying. Oh, come on, man. That is just so stupid, how well our opponents have drawn these last couple games. Um, yeah, that's how it goes, though, sometimes. <clears throat> just ridiculous. Um... Yeah, so I think we're just dead yeah, for the most part. Dead, pretty dead. I guess we can Kaya eat a creature and play Burglar Rat. So technically they have to rip a spell to kill us. So we will do that. They don't have any creatures in their yard. So we're just going to hit our rat. And mm. yep, that's it. Yeah. Uh, rat. Play tap land. Yep. And... Um, you know, I mean, we're going to have to get incredibly lucky to win. Yeah. Uh, they're going to need to whiff, and then we're going to need to, and they did not whiff. Oh, no. So, yeah, you know, our opponent just drew spell, spell, spell with no manipulation at all. So sometimes that happens, I guess. Uh, Disfigure seems great. <clears throat> Guys, wrath is Rats are fine. They, they might be good enough. I don't know. Duresses are great. I bring all the duresses in. Yeah. Um... Do we like the Helios Interventions? Uh, they do blow up Riddle Form. Yeah. So, yeah, and they gain us a crap ton of life. Yeah. So, I'm into them. ECDs sound like a joke. ECDs are not good. Um, um, again, Bell Haunts seem medium. They're slow. They're derpy. They're going to get countered. I'd cut at least two. Yep. Uh, Kaya is pretty bad too. It doesn't deal with any threats. Yeah, Kaya's so let's get all the Kayas out. Um, honestly, let's trim one blessing and bring one Bell Haunt back in, maybe. Yeah. Or maybe a or Kaya's do, are rat. Are we supposed to trim any of the Doom Foretolds? Uh, no, I like those. Okay. This deck's pretty weak to Doom Foretold, I think, normally. Um, I think. Yeah, we got a lot of hand disruption. It'll be easier to resolve in this game, too. Yeah. Yeah, I, I don't think Kaya's Wrath is very good. No, I don't think I, it I is. don't think it's very good, yeah. Um, I think this is... Let's best. try this. Uh, it's possible a Wrath is better than a Bell Haunt. I but don't think it's close. Yeah. I don't know. I don't even think it's that close, honestly. Yeah, I mean, Bell Haunt doesn't really block any threats. So he's, like, kind of medium. They would say he's slow and derpy. I mean, yeah, we can do this. Um, we'll bottom a plane, yeah. obviously. They're on a mulligan as well, so that helps. Nope. 
as good as the second black source would be, it's definitely not good to keep that. Sure, that's a good sign. That's a good draw, too. Yep, so let's remorse them. Let's see what's going on here. Sprite Dragon. Sp we can think of Sprite Dragon. He plays Sprite Dragon this turn, then we can kill it. My concern is the Stormwing Entity... If he ever draws a land, he's going to have that. That one's the more hard to deal with one. I think we got to deal with Stormwing right now. Okay. We have Disfig We have another Disfigure. We have Glass Caskets. We have a lot of things that can deal with Sprite Dragon that can't deal with the Stormwing, especially after we cut ECDs. So, maybe he's got to do it like this. It's very awkward. Uh, yeah, we just got to kill this guy. And play another land. Yeah, awkward mana, but whatever. Yeah, I mean, these last couple games have just been us awesome mulliganing a ridiculous amount um, and getting kind of messed up because of it, but it is what it is. This turn we get to duress and... Okay. Um, Let's... I think we duress so we can put the other Yorion in our hand. Yeah. Take the opt. It's the control draw. <sighs> And it's cheaper. Like obviously, inventory is good or whatever, but I don't even know that they'll spew their shock. They might. Depends if they draw something better. Yeah, they might just try getting in. Oh my god. I wish we drew like this when we played blue red spells. <laughs> be a lot of lands. We were playing. Uh, that enters tapped, but we have to play it anyway. Yeah. yeah. I guess we agonizing remorse. Yeah. It's bad not to. Uh, we take the other sprite dragon, and we just have to hope we rip a kill spell. Yeah. <clears throat> this Yorian is gonna be chump. Block, yeah, no. Maybe. Yeah, we got a couple chumps. So. Draws two. Yeah. This is so stupid. And draw a land. Come on. It's not drawing any lands. This is absolutely ridiculous. <clears throat> there we go. Yeah, we'll play a chump blocker. Just have Christ put us out of our game. misery. Yeah. Hashtag bodied. Yeah, I mean, we drew terribly. Like This matchup can't be good regardless, though. There's no way that these kind of matchups are good. Yeah, I don't know. The first couple times I played it, I've beaten it. When you draw your removal spells and curve properly, you usually do fine. We're just not drawing anything. like, And we're mulliganing as well. Um, like, game one... They were in a bad spot and just peeled, like, three perfect cards in a row. And that's kind of... This game, they didn't necessarily draw incredibly well. But we've drawn so badly that... Sure. I assume we're dead if this is what's happening. Yeah. We're going to bank on it. Yep. Yeah. Triple shock time. Let's go. Yeah, it crashed through. Cool. E. Yeah. Yeah. Jeez, oh jeez. Hashtag body. <clears throat> yep. Alright, 2-2. Two, 2-2, two. Two, two. yep. We are getting bodied out here, folks. Yep. Um. Yeah, I mean, we won our, what, first five games or whatever, and then game two of the last match was ridiculous. Our opponent was, like, hellbent, had all lands, and drew, like, three spells in a row that lined up super well. And then we mulled to four, game three, and then that match was also pretty ridiculous. We hand-hate spell. And, you know, that's the annoying, the, that's the downside to playing Jun-style decks. You get to see how perfectly your opponent draws sometimes. Yeah. We're keeping this, yeah. It's a little awkward, but it's still good enough. Um, I like Scryland first, I think. Yeah. No, we need lands. Yeah. We need lands. Awkward, but we still need lands, so I, yeah. I don't even think it changes. 
All right, we're going to play our other tap land. Let's go. Bellhaunt is obviously really good in this matchup, so assuming we ever draw another land, we should be in pretty good shape, but with the way these matches have been going, I'd imagine we're just going to miss and lose with a bunch of spells we can't cast. Bodied. Oh. We're just going to kill the... Um... Alright, so... Let's see. We can't double spell this turn anyway. We're just going to play that and pass turn, and before he goes to combat, we'll Grasp of Darkness the Robber. I like that. And then our following turn, we can Bell Haunt. So we can light up the stage, I guess. Yeah, I suppose. It's weird. Um, yeah, that was not. I don't get that. I might at as well all. do this. Yeah, now. just kill the robber. I don't really understand. That was a really strange play. Yeah, I'm not uh, certain why you would ever do you that either. I guess he needed lands. I, literally, very confused. Yeah, whatever. Uh, Bell haunt is amazing. Oh, so, it's gonna be a. Yeah, we're gonna go. We're Bell gonna go haunt you. Tour. Bell haunt you. Get Yorion, double Yo, bell haunt you. This guy's deck is weird, bro. Yeah. So here's the reason I say that. He's playing like cards like Robbers since Bogarts are with this card. Yeah, very strange. Yeah, bell haunt you. Good yeah. luck. <laughs> there are more coming. There are more coming. Oh, nice. Let's, yeah, he probably has another one too. Oh, yeah, we're going to get that last cleave. He's definitely got another cleave. I am feeling another oh, cleave. Yeah. We're going to block your Robber. I don't understand this either, honestly. He's trying to get all that damage in there, bro. I guess. Well, we're going to play land, and uh, so, yeah, I like this put Yori on our, yeah, okay. <laughs> sure. <laughs> okay. Um, Iliad's Intervention, Disfigure, yep. poor Kaya's Rats. All right, all the blessings go in this matchup. Yes. We don't have time for this. We get our value from our ETBs. Um, I actually don't hate Doom for Toe because um, they can't set Annex tokens. Yeah, no, I think... And we just gotta play straight control against them. Yeah, so the I don't know. Doom for Toe is like... It can line up pretty badly, especially on the draw. I think ECD is honestly better because it hits Torber. It's like sure. it can... Let's just go to the Doom for Tolds. Um, I'm not certain if that's right, but I think I think we need all the two drops on the draw. On the play, I'd be willing to bring in some Doom Foretolds and cut like some random discard two drop creatures because they're really not very good in this matchup at all. Um, but yeah, I, I think this is where we want to be. We'll mull again. It's an 80 mm. card deck. It's gonna happen. Well. The percentage of, of your lands in the opener is about the same. Um, how you draw throughout, the, like, it doesn't affect mulligans much at all. Uh, we're going to keep this. We're going to bottom. Yeah, the planes seems right. We're going to leave up Disfigure. Yeah. We're, not, we're not letting him play a second one of those. Second one of those, Robert, cards that yeah. would actually... Alright, we're killing this guy. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> don't have any time for that nonsense. We're going to play a Godless Shrine. Next turn we can put Yorion in our hand. Yep. Ooh. Ooh, I haven't seen this buddy in a while. Uh, yeah, we're going to put Yorion in our hand. Yeah. And we're probably going to be Kaya's Wrathing on turn... <laughs> Floor just to get that stupid thing off yeah. the board. That's a ton of damage. This card's so good with this card. Yep. Yeah. yeah, we're definitely just Kaya's Wrathing here. We're going to take a good amount of damage here, but then our opponent's going to have nothing. Sure. That's a lot Ooh, of buddy. damage. A lot of damage. Right on time. Hashtag ouch. Uh, yep, Kaya's Wrath. And then hopefully Bell Honk can turn us to the corner. Yep. There's a reason I thought that card was like really good in those strategies. Yep. Yeah, yeah, an opponent just peeling pretty much the actual perfects off the top. Ooh. Unfortunately, that's yeah. We so yeah, we got to do this. And then play Trial. Going to die, unfortunately. No, yeah, we got to trade it. Um. 
Okay, finally opponent misses. Uh, trade with the Giant. Yep. So this would do, let me think, this is do one, what's better, um, gaining twice X life, probably gaining twice X life is better, um, let's see, because we can't block this, that's for sure. I think we're supposed to play a scry land, honestly, let's figure it out, let's see what's on top of our deck, because if there's like a removal spell, we just want to blow up the cavalcades. True. And I think we might just want to blow up the cavalcades anyway. Um, because through the course of the game, those are going to be the hardest thing to beat. Yeah. So yeah. we're going to ship it. We're going to ship. Um, yeah, I think we're just blowing up the cavalcades and hoping that we can peel a removal spell, a gain life effect. Um, okay, so do this. Yeah. Two. All right. Hopefully we're not dead. Okay, you got it. Please don't kill us. Alright, and uh, I think it's better to actually plus. So I, I like... I think so as Yeah, well. it, it does the most for us. Um, actually, yeah, because we gain... Yeah, we gain two life. This is one of his creatures. And one of these, yeah, and one of the cavalcades. And then we'll play the Fen Lurker, make him discard the land that he probably held on to. Yeah. Um, this is good, everyone, because if he draws another haste threat, we're not dead this way. You know, unless it's a bird. Uh, sure, yep, the three drop bird, which could be in his deck. Who knows what he's playing? Yeah. Yep, uh, so we're just going to chump that Yep. for sure. Do not need Fenlurker at all. I don't know. What in the world? Yeah, no, we're, we're going to chump this. Yeah. We're, we're going to save that point. And then Kaya, this turn, will be eating the Dodger, I believe. Maybe not. Maybe we gain two and just play Yorion. We'll figure it out in a second. Because we don't want to be dead to Shock off the top. Yeah. And this protects us from those effects. Oh, he attacked Kaya? Yeah. That's a really strange play. Oh, that's a good draw, actually. So yeah, to... so now we just get to last, last casket, casket one XL. minus Kaya, eat the other one, and then reset Kaya. Yeah. Yeah. So let's do that. Yeah. That was a really good draw. Yeah. For the record, we should have minus Kaya on uh, the Tin Street Dodger in case he's playing the blow-up artifact card. True. But um, hopefully that won't matter. It's just for those watching. Um, it's, a, it's a really hard deck to, to do perfectly all the time. A lot of decisions. Uh, don't blink the casket. Yeah. There's no reason. Uh, yep, so we're going to blink this. Set her back to three. Um, and we're in a pretty good spot now, especially with White Castle. Um, sure. Sure. We're going to be, if he attacks Kaya, we'll just minus Kaya. Okay, so we're going to plus Kaya to make sure we're not dead to a shock. Oh, never mind. We're going to uh, minus Kaya to eat this and then play another Kaya and plus that Kaya. Yeah, that, that changed everything. Yep. And we're going to wait a while on attacking, I think. Yeah. Just eat one creature in the cavalcade. <clears throat> Go. We're not in the position to be swinging. The yeah, no, we don't want to take any points of damage. And they drew another yeah. land and said enough's enough. Yep. So, a 3-2. Yep, 3-2. We got time for another one. Yep. That's always... might, as, might as well do another one. Yeah. Um, they've been fast. The one was nonsense where the yeah. guy just conceded or whatever. Um, so let's say we can go 4-2. Yep. Yeah. And, you know, you're going to lose most matches where you ball to 4 in game 3, so that one was, you know... Yeah. It just... sucks, but it happens. Uh, when the dr when the deck draws a reasonable amount of lands and spells, it's, it's really, really good, as we saw in 
in the first couple rounds. And yeah, we're going to keep this for sure. This hand's awesome. We're going to fetch planes on one. Yep. I think the next video will be Crokey's um, Recto Slim. Yeah, no, we, we need to give that a go. He's 13 and self proclaimed 13 and 0 or whatever since M21's come out. Yeah. Uh, I've played against his deck. It's awesome and it's really annoying to play against. So um, I had to really do a lot of stuff to beat it. Ooh, maybe Bant. Yep, probably, probably Bant. Bant. And the fact that they mold and we have Rat is really nasty. Uh, so let's rat him. It's rat time. Let's go. Send you down the four cards. Yeah, Rat's so annoying. Yeah, I got rid of Grazer. Easy. Yeah. All right. All right. I just like putting Yorion in our hand here. None of these other cards are doing much. Let's just get this card in our hand so we can curve into it if we'd like to. <clears throat> Euro? Cultivate. I was hoping it was Euro so we could Kai at him. Yeah. So... I think we should be patient on Doom Foretold to get, like, if he played a Nissa next turn, we just get it off the board. Yep, I agree. So, I think here, um, we're probably just playing Oath of Kaya and bolting his face, so that way if we want a Yorion next turn, we can. We could have also left up Grasp of Darkness, but I think this is better. Yeah. Um, let's play the tap land. And get in there for one. Yep. Because this, like, is a real clock. Like, yeah. now we can, you know, if he doesn't have Nissa, we just play Yorion, blink our things, bolt his face again. Um, and he doesn't have enough cards where that matters yet, so I think we actually just Yorion him here and just really get the heat going. Okay. Uh, yeah, no, we definitely do that because now he will have no cards in his hand. Yeah. Uh, so I definitely like just Yorion, blink our stuff, um, probably kill the Grazer yeah. to get it out of the way. So it can't block Yorion or Rat. Um, he probably has Ugin in his hand, which is why he ramped. Or Krasis or something, would be my guess. This is going to be a really devastating play. Uh, we're going to kill this. I just checked how many cards is going to be in his hand. That's fair, yeah. It's one card away. <laughs> yep. But it's fine, we'd have Doom for Told. Yeah, even if it. he gets to it, which he did. Um, but that's fine. Doom, yep, for, Doom for Told is going to make him sack it. Um... So I guess maybe we shouldn't have oathed the the grazer. Maybe we were supposed to oath face. I still don't think it's that bad. Like, it's not. It's we'll just not. like I said, we'll just do it for totem. We have yep. a rat to get rid of. Yeah, which we don't care about at all anymore, for the most part. Interesting. Yep, I like doom for totem. I agree. Doom for totem. Play tap land. I don't think we need to do anything. And we'll swing four in the air. Yep. Get that damage. We'll sack that off. Yeah. Then we can Kaya it yeah, next, next turn. Yeah, next turn Kaya we'll just so we don't have to deal with it ever again. Yep. At least that copy. Yep. He's playing that card back down. It's so weird. Yeah, it's I, I so don't. So weird, bro. I don't know. I really Maybe don't. it's a mythic thing now. I don't know. I think it's just a bug. Maybe when they did the update, they messed something up. I donh, don't know. That should not be happening. Uh, let's think here. So, we're obviously attacking for four. Um, I think you... Probably Kaya. Just to get yeah, it. I like Kaya. Specifically, I like Kaya because if he draws an Ugin off the top, we want to be able to rebuild threats. Um, Doom Foretold will be able to take care of the Ugin. That's really the only card that can get him back in the game. So, yeah, we'll attack. Go. Yeah, we'll that's... get a 2-2. Nice. And now we have another answer to Ugin. Yep. Cool. That one doesn't beat us. No. Nope. We'll just we'll be grasping 3-3. Yeah. Yep. Sure. Grasp that down. Oh, so I don't even like ECD and the Nissa. Yeah, we just attack it yeah. down. 
Um, we could just do actually, that. we probably yeah, we probably just attack him. Yeah, we just attack him because we played Doom for Toad on him. I think that's better because then if he does get Uga, we still got an ECD to take care of him. Yep. Um. Yeah. We'll still exile his cards. No real reason not to. Yeah. I don't really care about the Doom for Donut Pot and the half in the sack itself. If we really Kai's ult but... kills him there, too. He was dead to everything. Yeah. yeah, just Ugin was the only card that could stop us there, and even then he was in big trouble. Yeah. We're going to bring in another ECD, all the duresses, the Noxious yeah. Grasp, and that's probably it. Mm -hmm. um, we want all our discard effect here, I think. Yeah, I everything agree. that makes him discard. So I would cut. Uh, Grasp of Darkness is pretty medium. It doesn't yeah. get Euro, um, yeah, so Grasp I'm not into it. Uh, um, I would trim on Oaths. I would go to, like, one. Um, and... <sighs> Do we want to cut the last Oath? Honestly, we probably go Let's... down the two Glass Caskets. Up. We could, but they're so good against Krasis. Yeah, that's true. I'd cut it. I just cut the last oath. It's fine. Four yeah. bell haunt and three Kaya's a lot of life gain. Yeah. The doom for toll. And the charming princess. Yeah, the princess too. Yeah, the deck's really good at gaining life. Yeah. I wish the castles made life linkers. That'd be really busted. Yeah. If that, oops, if that land made life link creatures, that'd be crazy good. It would. At that point, that might actually be the best castle. I think the black one is the best one, but it's really yeah. close. Nope. This yep. one's excellent. Um, ECD might be yeah, the right. I think it's my guy is saying that. I think yeah. the rest are just too good. Yep. So we go the rest and the like. Yeah, the rest and the rat the and the blink rat and to put Yorion in our hand. Hopefully, do all that again and just really just deplete his sources. Yeah. That's a good draw too. Yeah. All right, dress you. We're going to take that Cultivate away. Good one. Yes, it is. Uh, he gets a Grazer, but that's not a big deal. He does, but that's just going to lower the cards in his hand yep. uh, to make it easier. Because him discarding lands is actually good. Like. Yeah. Yep. Yep, exactly. And he only... He doesn't even have that many... Uh, yeah, that's a good draw, honestly. He's just going to go make you discard, make you discard, make you discard, put Yorion in our hand. Yeah, so he's not going to be able to get to this Cavalier unless he uh, goes land here and top decks another land. Untap yep. land, too. Which is nice. Yeah. Then, yeah, because we'll make him discard that cat if he doesn't draw a land. Yeah. Okay. Ooh, okay. Annoying. Yeah. But still pretty much the same scenario. Yeah. That's a good draw, uh, actually. Yep. We'll do this. Blink the rat. Skyland. Sure? Yeah, no, that's good. That lets us fill up our hand. Discard what's not Cavalier. No land. He can have a tap land. No. I prefer he has a tap land, then we get the Cavalier. That's true. Um, honestly, it might be better to put Yorion in our hand here. Because that way we get to make him discard. Yeah, I like this. Let's start the loop next turn. I guess we could swim with both right there. That was a free play of damage. You're right. Because we... You are correct. We can't block, yeah. You are correct. It's cool. Um, That's not good at all. No. We literally are probably going to sandbag that for a while. Yeah, uh, yeah I like... Uh, I guess we attack with both, like you mentioned. Blocks 2-2, two, two, takes 1. Oh, I guess yep. he gets Shark Typhoon. Yeah, so maybe it was a bad attack, honestly. Um, in this situation. Yeah, play the land, play the Orion, and let's just start this chain. Oh my god, are you kidding me? <laughs> Ugh. Disgusting. Well, as long as he misses Euro, this isn't really that bad. Because he's going to discard that last card.
no euro, so that's good. Take some damage. Okay. We're going to bell haunt, make him pitch that last card. And he's playing off the top now. Okay. Obviously a good one to get rid of. Probably just start throwing these under the bus. The top, yeah, possibly. They'll probably Rat be enough. for sure is not needed. Anymore. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's probably going under the bus. Yeah, there's really no reason to not block. Trading so he can... Yeah, trading there would be horrible. Just so Yeah, can... trading's bad because... Yeah, we can start manipulating his yard with Kaya yeah. and making sure that he doesn't have anything relevant, and then we can get Doom Foretold going. Um, okay, that's actually a, a pretty nice draw, all things considered. All right, so we're going to plus this up. Uh, Let's hit that Ugin. Ugin, and... The was there a stroke. Yeah. Let's get the cards that could actually come back to be relevant to yep, us. Yep, I agree. Um, uh, nothing, nothing else. Nothing else. He'll attack Kaya, and we just let it die and play another one. Yeah. Um, he might just come straight at us. Who knows? Okay. No blocks. No. We have another one, so it'd be a silly, silly block on our end. We right. play both. Yeah, no, and we will, I think, as yeah. long as he doesn't have anything super good to get back with Cavalier, which I don't believe he does. Let's uh, go for a plus. Maybe we should and just... we can cancel and just minus on yeah, Grazer. Just... Yeah, yeah, he has nothing good. So let's eat the Grazer, and now we do him for told him. And yeah, now now he he pretty much is going to have to sack this Krasis. We can well, send the Bell Haunt freely. I, we don't... Can, I think we can swing both. Because he's probably going to kill Kaya with this, most likely. Uh, do we want the Kaya to die? I guess we have a Doom Foretold. Yeah, yeah, we probably do. Yeah. This is probably right. Because I don't think we care enough. Yeah, he'll sack there, obviously. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yep, all this is fine. Yep. Yeah. Now he can put Gross Spiral back on top. Yep. That we'd actually be fine with that. Yeah. By Charming Prince, I would assume. Yeah, I think so. Um, but the thing is, Charming Prince is the best if we top deck Yorion, though. Uh, but it's, um, it's still just the worst card. I, it's okay. fine. Just get rid of it. Uh. I think we play this. Put it in tapped and then activate castle, leaving up white, black, black. Yep, that's fine. Okay, we'll be cycling that later. We're going to attack here. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He loses this. He may or may not put Girl Spiral on top. We'll lose Bell Haunt. He had a oh. crisis? Oh, yeah, remember he sacked it. Oh, yeah, we, we punted super bad by letting him attack Arkaya. That was a huge mistake. Yeah, maybe, yeah. yeah. Huge mistake, because we could have yeah. just eaten the crisis. Yeah, we misplayed this game abysmally, everyone watching. So. I don't know about abysmally. That's well, that was pretty bad. That, that was, was on a board. little stretch. <laughs> That's a little bit of a stretch. Like we said earlier, deck's hard. Um, we, we definitely just missed that. All right, we're going to cycle this. But yeah, this this should not have happened. <clears throat> yep. Yep, yep. We'll scry it up. Nope. We'll activate. Oof. And we're also, our deck's not doing us any favors either, but. Ugh. But yeah, no, if we, um, if we just would have left Charming Prince back to chump lock, um, then we could have eaten that crisis that he sacked, and that wouldn't have been something that would have happened. But based on how we drew and how he's on these future yeah. cards, we're probably going to be dying. Well, the crisis may have drawn him this. We don't know what those four cards would have been, what order. Um, 
obviously, yeah, we're drawing really bad, too. But. Um, and that's okay. We have a game three still, so. Yep. Keep our heads up and. But. That's enough. Yeah. We'll go to the next game. Um, yeah, you know, that was a bummer. But yeah, right, based on, on the how next those one. draws were, I don't think we we're winning that game regardless. Yeah, possibly not. Uh, again, it really depends what he drew off Crasis. He was going to be drawing those three cards pretty quickly regardless. And well, he drew four off Crasis, so it's possible that Nissa was like the fourth card and the top three were two. And then we still had to deal with Euros. Well, yeah, we don't know when that was either. Like, yeah. we don't know. Um, it, Point is, we made a mistake. Um, I think this is right. I don't think we want to change anything. So we're gonna we're gonna rock and roll here. Very close hand. Um, <clears throat> no, very close hand. We're probably supposed to mull though. I, I think don't. So. I don't think it's quite good enough. This one's a lot better. Yep. We're just gonna bottom a doom for told. Yeah, that's easy mull. Yeah, very easy. Scry with our land here. Yep. I don't like that. Yep. We're gonna charm and print scry two this turn. Unless we draw a discard effect. Yep, or a tap land. We might want to just get the tap land so we don't... Possible. Yeah, tap land, we probably just get it in. That's a great All draw. Right. We're going to do that. Yep. going to start attacking his hand. External blessing. Draw three. Yep, yeah. they get rid of an Ugin. That makes sense. It's nice to have one of those gone now. Sure. Forever. Yep. We're going to draw three. Hopefully yep. next turn we can uh, Fen Lurker and... Prince, blink a fen lurker. We sure can. Combat attack for one. It's really nice that we're exiling all his cards, too. It's yeah. really nice. Yeah. Future Euro is going to yep. be a lot worse. I agree. Sure. Does he have a grazer? That'd actually be great if he had a grazer. It means we get a lot more cards. Okay. Uh, that's fine, though. Uh, so we're going to play land. Play the castle. Yep. We're going to Fen Lurker him. Swing we're one. Gonna attack one and then blink Fen Lurker. It's got to be so annoying. Oh, yeah. No, I'm, I'm sure this deck is incredibly annoying to play against. It's never fun getting eight racked. Yeah, all right. Um, but it's fun to do it to people, I'll tell you that much. Yeah, oh, I yeah. I love eight racking people. <clears throat> Yorion. Alright, that's gonna get Doom Foretolded. Yep. So. We have a lot of good targets to the sex that would Doom Foretold, but. Yeah. We just need to hope we don't get Disdainful Stroked. Oh, if he. Oh, him not attack. Oh, that's a really nice draw. So. Oh, that's kind of a nice draw. Um. Hmm. So, yeah, what... He has two we... cards in him. And one's gotta be Disdainful Stroke, or at least he's bluffing it. Gate two. Yeah, because he's worried about Lewis. I'm I guess, why don't we just Glass Casket the Forest, play your land, so he can't dispute you? Yeah. Uh, and then we'll just attack Nissa for um, four. Okay. And then we just put Yorion in our hand. So he's Hellbent. Well, not well close. Hellbent. He's close to Hellbent. We need to dodge Krasis specifically. Ugin would be a nightmare as well. Uh, we'll put this in our hand. 
And then you have Swing 4. Yeah, Swing 4 at the Nissa. Mm -hmm. If he goes Crisis, at least we can Yorion and then... Blink and Blake the Casket, just give him a normal Forest back, eat the Crisis. Yeah. Oh my god, come on. The shock... The shock of your dreams. It's fine. We actually get a lot of his cards here, so it's not the end of the world, as long as he doesn't have stupid stroke. Yeah, cause we could... Maybe we shouldn't have played around stroke. I don't know. Yeah. I felt like it was right. I still feel like it was probably right. Obviously, we would be in a way better spot had we not have done that, but... Alright, let's go for it. Yep. Yep. Oh my god. That is just so stupid. Yeah, everything just lined up wrong. We, we could have played... Maybe we were supposed to just force the stroke. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we're dead. Yeah. I guess we should have forced the stroke. Yeah, yeah, we're dead. Enough here. Yep. Yep, 3-3. Three, three. Yep, things didn't line up super well there. We played badly game two. Yep. Um, yep. Well, we're probably still losing game two, like I said. Like, we were drawing Charming Princes and stuff. Like, it was going to be hard to be... Our draws were not matching his draws. Yeah, no, like I yeah. said, it, it really depends when um, when he drew the, the I Matter cards. Um, but yeah, for sure. Um... Yeah, like, it just wasn't looking well for us. Like I said, we were drawing yeah. Charming Princes and Lands. Like, yeah. it don't matter when he draws that. Yeah, I guess we should have just gone for the um, the Doom Foretold. Yeah, I don't I think, know. With two cards, I think we were supposed to. Yeah. Because then if he's help at with Nissa, whatever, yeah. we can eventually figure that out. Yep. But, no, it's fine. Um, we'll get ready and uh, build up this Rakdos sack deck. Yep. So, until next time, we will catch you later. Yep, see you later.